Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to your daily tarot vibe for Sunday, March 29th. My name is Robin and this is my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. So thanks guys for joining me. So this is the reading where I do a quick little three card read to have a look at the energy going on around you in the world today. And I'm going to be using the good tarot deck to do this quick reading for you. So I hope you enjoy and I hope it resonates. And something about this camera angle is kind of bothering me. So just give me a second. I don't know why that's any better, but I was just compelled or guided to do that. So that's what I did. So anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you being here. Um, love your comments and, you know, remember to subscribe if you're interested in receiving guidance from tarot on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. So let's have a look at the daily tarot reading that says the card to describe the day is going to be the first card I'm going to pull here. So we've got the four of water, kind of a interesting card. It's like, and the still beauty of this depiction kind of belies the underlying message of the four of cups, which means that you could be missing something that is right underneath your nose. Sometimes, you know, if you've ever heard that expression that you can't see the forest for the trees, it's because you're looking so hard for something that you're missing it. You know, you're missing the point in a conversation. You're missing the true meaning of a relationship that could be right underneath your nose. There's something going on here. You're being reminded to look for the subtlety in messages and look for opportunity where you may not necessarily see it. So very interesting with the four of water. So something important to be mindful of today, you've got the seven of fire. So the Seven of Fire, this is, and again, this is a really mystical and beautiful card. It's got the unicorn and he looks like he's like, oh, hey, I'm having a great time. Um, but the Seven of Fire, if you're a real like tarot person, this is the Seven of Wands. And in some decks, it shows a person with his back up against the wall um, and he's fending off other people. So you could be defending yourself or feeling defensive or sensitive, or I like to call it defensive, um, to the point where you're missing the point, you're missing the lesson. Um, I listen to Steve Noble quite frequently and he does this meditation and he says this line that just, it's mind blowing to me. Accept the lesson that your pain is offering you. So you could be missing the point to a lesson that was given to you by the universe or, you know, in the form of a situation or a person. Um, you could be so busy barricading yourself that you're missing the point, you're missing the opportunity. So it might be time to draw, lower your defenses, maybe when it just comes to you and look at things in a different perspective. So what to embrace to have the best day possible? We've got the queen of air here. So the queen of air has popped up in a couple of your daily um, readings throughout the week here so I mean everybody has that part of themselves that comes out to defend themselves but I think she's coming in a little bit strong here the queen of air at least this one she's lowered her weapons and she's got a smile on her face most tarot card decks the queen of air the queen of swords she's very fierce she's got a sword in front of herself she's ready to hack other people to bits how dare you defy me you know and get away from my family and don't you dare hurt my feelings but this one is a little bit warmer so you you do have a softer side and it's time to bring that out a little bit especially dealing with yourself you have a real opportunity to connect with someone or something and learn a lesson here while you're not busy defending yourself or you know, um, defending a situation or defending your point of view. You really have to look at something in a different light, you know, because there's there's a lesson in what is happening right now. Accept the lesson that your pain is offering you. Not always easy to do, but if something's bothering you, sit down and have a look at it. Why? And look at yourself and write a journal. Um, I think this is going to be a great day of self-discovery. So interesting readings for the week, you guys. Very interesting. And this one sort of tops it off as like, okay, everything starts and ends with you, right? So don't miss any opportunity to learn more about yourself with this particular spread. So have a great day, guys. Love you. Bye.